Hi everyone, I am at the National Historic Register Landmarks Sarah Orne Chewett House. As you can tell, this is a very busy street here in downtown South Berwick, so I'm going to try to talk over all the traffic. But this is downtown South Berwick, Maine, right on the border of New Hampshire right on the Salmon Falls River. And this is the town of South Berwick. Used to just be part of Berwick. And eventually it split into three, North Berwick, Berwick, and South Berwick. And this is the Sarah Orne Chewett House. Sarah Orne Chewett was a poet and a writer in the late 1800s. This is her family's house, so she had several generations of family living at this house and it's been somewhat restored as you can tell upkept by several historical societies since 1931 it's been part of the South Berwick Historical Society and was recently bought up by a group called Historic New England so as you can tell this is right in the downtown, this is Portland Street, Route 4. The Sarah Orne Jewett House was originally built in 1774. Another big truck going by. It's got a museum, a little store, part of the South Berwick Historic District. So, beautiful old house filled with furniture. Sarah Orne Jewett wrote over 140 poems and short stories throughout her career. Her father was a doctor. He was a traveling doctor downtown. And he would make house calls. And Sarah and a couple of her sisters grew up in this house and the house next to it. There's the back addition added later on. And there's some cement trucks going by. Beautiful garden in the back that's pretty well kept. The barn building out back herb garden back here. Sarah Orne Jewett never married, but she lived in the house and this other adjacent building into her old age with a lady friend. So I won't really speculate on the relationship too much because sometimes women just live together especially if they never married you'd be living with people but yes yeah, she never married and just um, she was a pretty famous writer in her day writing poems short stories about New England life and I had to read some of her work as a child and her work is still inspiring to this day if you like history and stories and poems about New England life. She wrote some stories about her father as a country doctor. I had to read a short story in school about a heron and a lot of the stories had to do with children growing up in country New England. So this was the other house she lived in, which is now a museum store, visitor center. And here's the big, beautiful old house, fully restored. All right, everyone, I recommend you check out some of Sarah Orne Jewett's work. Have a nice day, bye-bye.